click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about what is Hello Greens as well as we have also classified it and we have also given the IUPC nomenclature to the certain structure of the uh, Hello Greens. And now we are going to talk about the nature of uh, bond between carbon and halogen in Hello Greens. So now we are going to talk about that is uh, the nature of uh, the bond uh, between the carbon and halogen in haloarenes in which we can get to know with the help of an example over here. So therefore this is an example basically I have mentioned over here as the aromatic hydrocarbon basically benzene and here basically a halogen atom that is X is been attached over here. So this X or this halogen atom that has been attached to the carbon atom and that carbon atom is basically sp2 hybridized. And moreover, we could see that this is an aromatic hydrocarbon that is basically uh, benzene. So uh, this is the aromatic green that I am going to talk about. So it consists of conjugated system that is uh, alternate single and double bond. So that is the reason that uh, uh, in benzene basically we could find the uh, resonance uh, phenomenon. And that's the reason that we could get various structures uh, if uh, this uh, hello arenes is exhibiting different kind of uh, the uh, resonance and that's the reason that we could get uh, that is hybrid structures and uh, so for that reason now we are going to talk about that how uh, the resonance uh, is been exhibited by uh, the hello arenes so let me give you a detail about uh, that is uh, the hello arenes where the halogen atom that has been attached to the carbon atom over here or it has been attached to the aromatic hydrocarbon it consists of known pair of electrons for example if i take the example of that is chlorine so chlorine consists of basically uh, it has an atomic number of 7 so therefore I could write it as that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and this is 3p5. So this is what we have and we could easily uh, get to know that is uh, how many lone pair of electrons that uh, basically the chlorine atom has. So basically it will consist of basically if I would mention over here that is these are the two uh, that is a lone pair of electrons and talking about this p orbital so let me indicate that this consists of five uh, electrons so therefore one two three four and five so making this two that is uh, to have that is one unpaired electron that could be bo bond with that of the carbon atom that is being bonded over here and talking about the next uh, thing is basically there we could find that is three uh, lone pair of electrons and that's the reason that uh, the halogen atom consists of basically three lone pair of electrons and moreover we could see that uh, the benzene ring that has been present over here it itself undergoes that is resonance process or basically uh, the shifting of uh, pi electrons takes place over here but meanwhile even this this are the lone pair of electrons even that could participate in the resonance and that's the reason that the resonance structure could be given as follows suppose we are considering the same that is uh, the hello ring I am representing over here as in this way and it consists of basically three unpaired electrons. So therefore the shifting of electron would take place in such a manner that uh, the uh, pi electrons they would get delocalized on uh, the ring itself. So therefore I am mentioning over here as in this way where the shifting of electron takes place. So that's the reason the resonance uh, uh, structure that we could get over here is basically Now here basically the double bond would be formed over here because this is the thing that I am talking about uh, that is uh, the resonance structure and here there will be a negative charge over here so I am uh, representing over here in this way and the rest of the thing it will be as it is. So now again the shifting of electron would take space in such a manner that where we could find that is the shifting of electron would take space over in this manner. So therefore the structure that we could get is. This is the next structure and again the resonance would take place or the delocalization of electron would take place uh, in the ring itself and we'll get the following structure and that is what I am representing over here. And again suppose if I am shifting the electrons then uh, this is what I could get over here.
So basically, this is the uh, resonant structure of uh, the hello earrings that we have got over here. So in this thing, basically, if you observe the resonating structures, that is this uh, four, uh, this three structures, if you observe, then there is a double bond character between the halogen atom and the carbon atom. So if this is the uh, double bond character that has been exhibited by the uh, bond uh, that is uh, undergoing uh, resonance and uh, this is how we could say that is the distance between the carbon and the halogen atom in halo array is basically less compared to that of the halogen atom. So therefore this is the kind of property that we have got to know while studying the nature of the bond between uh, the carbon and uh, between the halogen atom in the halo arenes. So this is what we have mentioned over here and uh, moreover we could see that as uh, just for a while, if we could observe, that is, uh, the negative character has been uh, exhibited on the, uh, that is, ortho position as well as on the para position. So, it also indicates that, uh, so, whenever a substitution uh, reaction would take place on the halorene, suppose uh, the electrophile, which is basically, uh, that would attach on, that is, the ortho position or that could attach on the para position. So, this is what we have also got to know about this thing. So, this is something related to the, uh, the bond character that we could get uh, in, uh, that is in hello earrings. So this is what we have got to uh, know over this one. So now let us uh, compare it uh, with that of uh, that is a dipole moment. So what is the dipole moment that we could uh, get in the hello earring? Whether it would be more or whether it would be less than compared to the alkyl. Let us talk about it. So now talking about the dipole moment. So dipole moment is nothing but it measures the electronegativity difference between the two atoms and in this case because we are talking about the uh, uh, nature between or nature of the bond between carbon and halogen atom in hello rings. So therefore it is very important us for us to understand the dipole moment between uh, the carbon and the halogen atom. Uh, so for that suppose if I am uh, taking an example where I have uh, basically I am mentioning here and uh, Hello ring. and I am comparing it with that of uh, that is cyclohexyl chloride or cyclohexyl halide. So this is what we have over here. But if you compare this two, then uh, the one thing that we could get over no is basically this is the one which, which is basically uh, sp2 hybridized, while this carbon is basically sp3 hybridized. So making this have the S character which is less and here the S character or uh, is basically it is more. So therefore it indicates that uh, the halogen atom that has been attached in the, that is in the cyclohexyl halide is basically it is more electronegative. And talking about the carbon atom uh, that is that will be obviously that will be more electropositive and that's the reason here we could find that dipole moment is more. But talking about this one, uh, as you know that uh, the halogen atoms are more electronegative and the carbon atoms are basically, uh, whenever it has been attached, it would be more electro uh, positive. But since here it is the carbon which is undergoing sp2 hybridization, that's the reason that uh, obviously the resonance would take place over here. That is what we have did uh, earlier, we have talked about earlier. So now uh, this X will have less electronegativity while this carbon will have uh, uh, more electronegativity. And that's the reason that the dipole moment we could observe over here is very much less and that's the reason the net uh, dipole moment is less over here compared to that of uh, this cyclohexyl halide. So this is the difference that I was talking about and this is the nature of the uh, uh, bond between carbon and halogen in halo arenes. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know various information uh, regarding this. So. Please stay tuned to this channel and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.